All right, what's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR here. So in this video, I'm gonna give you my impressions for Gears Tactics. And I'ma just come right out and say it from the very beginning. I'm loving Gears Tactics so far, right? So listen, I know that 2020 has been a terrible year in every other way, but gaming is not one of them, at least not for me. Pretty much every game I have bought in 2020 so far, I've either really liked or I've loved it. I have not come across any disappointing games that I've played, that I was interested in. Like every game that I was looking forward to that I uh, had on my most anticipated games list uh, before this year started, every one of them, not every one of them has come out, but every one of them that I played so far that was on my list delivered exactly what I thought they would. This has just been a, an amazing year so far for gaming for me. This like just the three months of this year was better than all of 20, uh, uh, 2019. So it's just been, it's just been marvelous for me, but let me get back to gears tactics. I'm, I'm just, I'm just happy. It's like, I, I just feel like all these good games that I'm consuming is like bringing back my happiness and my, um, like my childhood excitement for games, because for a while that's, that, that's, that was being killed by mediocre games and mediocre game concepts, but gears tactics. So I'm an XCOM fan, um, have been an XCOM fan for a, a long time. I love, uh, you know, these type of turn-based strategy games. Um, so I wasn't surprised um, when I played this game and I, and I really loved it, right? Uh, I, I do think new this game definitely welcomes newcomers. Uh, I don't think you should be intimidated to play this game if you haven't played games like this before. This is definitely a chance for you to start, right? Because I like I said, this is very accommodating. It's, I would say it's a very like, it's not easy. There's different uh, difficulty levels, of course, but this game is not like super casualized or super easy, um, but they are, they did design it in a way not to scare off the casuals who may not have played this type of game before, right? They wanted to welcome newcomers, uh, especially, you know, because they know their fan base of uh, Gear, Gears fans probably, you know, have not played a game like this before. But I highly recommend you give this a chance. Isn't this on Game Pass anyway? I understand it's not on Xbox uh, Xbox consoles yet, which I think is was a mistake. I don't really know why uh, they didn't put it on Xbox consoles. It, you know, that, that was a mistake to me, but I believe it's on, is it on, it's on uh, Xbox Game Pass for PC. I bought the game on Steam. Y'all know I don't really support Xbox Game Pass or whatever like that. I just prefer to buy my games um, and avoid like any uh, Xbox e ecosystem if I can. So um, Gears Tactics is, uh, it's, it's taking place 12 years before the original Gears of War. So this is actually humanity's first contact with the Locust Horde around uh, E-Day, right? So. And, and one thing I think people need to give Gears, the Gears franchise more credit for is adding details, history, and overall lore to the Gears universe. You could say what you want about their story, sometimes it's hit and miss, but they always add good details, little tidbits and lore to the overall universe in the world. And I really like that. So the main protagonist in the story is Gabe Diaz, Kate Diaz's father, right? Uh, once again, like I said, adding to the lore, adding to connections in the Gears world. And pretty much the story is about Gabe uh, being put in charge to recruit soldiers to defeat Ukon, who is the leader of the Locust Army. And that's pretty much the, you know, the overarching story. So this game is XCOM, but with major changes. And that's what most games, most IPs that are in the same genre uh, tend to do, right? If they're gonna be in the same genre as XCOM, they take this, the same formula, but they pretty much take everything from their universe and their world and put it in and make some dynamic changes. So it's not just a clone. So yes, everything that you're used to seeing in Gears games have been implemented in Gears Tactics. All the weapons, you know, the armor, the, the characters, everything, all of that stuff. So you, you'll come to this game and everything will be very familiar, right? 
So it's not as intimidating for people because if they go play an XCOM game, they're they're very unfamiliar with everything in that game as far as weapons and everything like that. But this is very, like I said, it's very welcoming. Um, so let's talk about more about the gameplay. So, uh, like I said, y'all know it's a turn-based strategy game. Um, you recruit soldiers and everything like that. You start out with two uh, soldiers, just. Um, Gabe and Sid and and as you progress through the campaign they give you the chance to uh, save soldiers recruit soldiers and all these soldiers there are different classes there's like scout vanguard sniper heavy and I'm, I think I'm missing one and there's plenty of customization you know as far as like uh, weapon loadouts and the attachments as far as I see and understand uh, certain classes obviously have to use certain weapons but there are different attachments um, that you can find on the in the actual battle, uh, like chest that you or cases, I believe they're called. You find them in battle. Uh, you pick them up, and then you know you could return back to them when you get back to the mission phase of the game. Because a lot of this stuff, all the customization and the loadout stuff you do in the pre-plan uh, plan uh, mission. Uh, part of the game right before you get to the actual battle so there's good customization you know with as far as like the weapons and um the items and the uh and also the the cosmetics you know as far as uh you know your armor your weapon and your clothing scars uh you could change the colors and the patterns on the weapons and the armor so the customization is pretty good it's not as deep uh, as I would want it to be, you know, X XCOM customization is a, has a little bit more depth, especially when it comes when it comes to customizing how your fit your characters, uh, your recruits actual physical appearance. It's not the best in that regard, but it's pretty decent. Um, each cl each class, each each uh, soldier has a skill tree of abilities to unlock, and yeah, the skill tree is pretty deep and immense from what I've looked at. Um, so they've definitely done a, a great job with adding depth and layer to the to the skill tree. And that's only just going to add more synergy to the uh, overall game. Because one thing I will say that um, I feel like the, the XCOM games lacked was kind of like synergy between class abilities. They didn't really complement each other that much. They just worked really well independently uh, besides XCOM Chi uh, Chimera Force. Chimera Squad uh, is really all about synergy between the different abilities and helping each other out, right? Um, but XCOM 1 and 2 and, and a few of the other uh, uh, spinoffs or whatever, th those a lot of those like worked really uh, very independently. The abilities were good, but they didn't complement each other that well in my opinion. But in this game, uh, the mechanic that they've added that helps um, synergy is the ability to chain executions to give your teammates more action points. So pretty much each soldier has like three action points and everything you do uses an action point, whether you reload, whether you depend, uh, uh, if you move to a different spot and, and how far you move uh, determines how many action point it is so uh, using an ability action point so everything is an action point what's different very different in gears that i really like that's not an xcom is pretty much if you down an enemy they go you know you kill an enemy they go into a down state you don't actually kill them so once they're downed you have the chance to actually do an execution which you will see in the video every time your character does an execution your other teammates get more action points so you can pretty much keep on going and making your your uh turn longer which gives you the chance to you know really combine some abilities and like i said chain uh a lot of executions um and that can get you out of a lot of precarious and dangerous situations where you might have died which you're which you you, you may see at this part um, or your, you know, your soldiers may be in danger. At this part, I chained enough executions to get Gabe um, seven action points. A character having seven action points is something you would never see in an XCOM game. That's like unheard of. Now, you can argue that um, that does make the game um, a little bit easier, but also what kind of offsets that in the game is the fact that they throw so many enemies at you. 
Like there can easily, I never counted, but I feel like there could easily be like 15 different enemies on, sc on screen looking at you and that's not normal for an ex that you know that's not something you typically see in an XCOM game maybe in the harder later levels you might see something like that but definitely not in like the first three levels that's that's kind of normal because they're trying to keep it like authentic to like the gears games where it wouldn't be like two three enemies you're taking on at one time not not even five it would be like literally a whole horde of, a whole horde of them so they're trying to keep it authentic to that uh so I, i'm really liking how like offensive and uh, the game is um but like i said it's not easy it's you do have to think it is strategic um so and i and i just love that aspect of it right it, i think it encourages deeper thinking um before just doing your moves um and and especially you don't want to it it, it makes you think before committing to anything because you have to consider what if you do get a, uh, a, a an execution and, a, and by a down enemy. Um, you don't wanna commit to anything um, before you realize you have more action points, for example. Uh, so some other things, you know, the number of recruits you can have in your, bar your barracks increases as you uh, progress through the game. Uh, Gears Tactics doesn't have like the extracurricular uh, activities that XCOM had like base building, base management, and all the logistics like the research, the building, the science division, the air force and stuff like that. It doesn't have that. And I actually, I liked some of that stuff in, in XCOM, like the logistics and the management, but there were times where I was like, man, I wish I didn't have to deal with some of this because some of it wasn't fun. Like in the, in, in the original XCOM and me unknown, they had like the space or Air Force Division, which I just hated. I, I felt like it was annoying. It wasn't fun to manage. It, it sucked in my opinion. So I'm, I'm kind of glad that this game did, doesn't have that stuff. You don't have to worry about that aspect of the game. Um, and it, they just like focused uh, their attention and their priorities into the actual gameplay and not just the, like, the pre-planning mission phase, right? So I, I really like that. Also, along with chained executions, uh, uh, soldiers who have the corresponding weapons, you know, can do the chainsaw kills and the bayonet kills, like, you know, of course, like in Gears of War and everything like that. And the game is just, I'm playing on the second to hardest difficulty, I can't remember the name of it, uh, but the game is just challenging, satisfying, and it does make you think. Um, and and it's it's different, it plays so different to, to XCOM, I can't, like, I'm... I have both XCOM Chimera Force and this, but I can't play both at the same time because it, you have to be in a very different mindset and, and and thinking method to play each game because they do play very differently. Um, so I have to play one at a time. So I'm mainly just playing Gears uh, right now and then I'll play Chimera Force. Uh, you can also revive enemies, revive, excuse me, revive uh, allies in this game. Um, Whereas in XCOM, you had to be a certain class, I believe the medic class or whatever it was to, re to revive uh, an, an ally. You had to have a certain either ability or, or item, but anybody can revive uh, an ally. But when you revive an ally, they come back with less health. And also uh, there's also second wind, which I believe every soldier unlocks but second wind all you can only be used once and it also makes you come back with like i think a quarter life or something like that um so yeah that's that's very risk reward type thing and xcom is infamous for for like high percentage missing shots i haven't come across that in in gears so that's probably the biggest thing they fixed is i don't i'm not really missing any 90 percent shots I'm even landing some like 70% shots, which anybody who plays XCOM knows a 70% shot is risky because it's really like a 60% shot. Um, so yeah, it's just very different variation of gameplay styles and uh, mechanics that they put in Gears Tactics. And I love the game and the game looks really good. I'm playing like, you know, at 4K, uh, you know, above 60, the game it has good performance. There's a lot of graphical settings. Um, and even though it's like uh, the, that tactical, uh, not fully top-down view, but it, it's like that tactical view, um, when you when the when you do the executions and the like the camera zooms in, you can see it has like all the details of like a Gears game. So it's not like they skimped out on the visuals because it's a it's a tactical game. No, 
So I'm loving the game and I'm just like dumping a whole bunch of hours into it. I absolutely love it. Um, I highly recommend it for newcomers, especially when it comes to the Xbox uh, consoles. Excuse me. So those are my impressions. Um, let me know what y'all think. If you've played it, I highly recommend y'all give it a chance and uh, make sure you hit the like button. Follow me on Twitter. Links in the description for everything. Consider becoming a member, you know, hit the join button. Uh, you'll get custom emotes and uh, a chat badge and uh, hit the notification bell so you can know anytime I go live or upload a video. All right, I'm out of here. Peace.